meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. All right. Hello, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, uh, subscribing to the channel it means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. What I want to do is pull uh, two cards for what's going on with you right now and uh, some cards for advice. And then we will get the outcome. Let's see what is happening for Capricorn right now. Calm, still. Okay. So things are calm. Things are still. Let's see. So that means that if that's highlighted, there was a point in time where things were not calm. They were not still. All right. Let's see what's going on. What's happening for Capricorn right now. All right. So we get two cards. Let's see. The devil, that's you. The seven of cups. Woo, woo, woo. So these are not good cards. <laughs> not together. Um, this might be you, though. The knight of cups. I mean, the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this might be you and that calm and that steel. Maybe you're mitigating something, you know. Um, maybe somebody is out of order, out of control. Sex, drugs, rock and roll choices um they're choosing to be out of control to to let loose let go somebody can't deal with you know the emotions here they don't want to deal with the emotions in regards to a relationship there's someone else here too there could be another party it could be third party situation definitely with the de with the devil and the seven of cups it's like somebody wouldn't allow themselves to be willingly deceived to be sold a dream here somebody is um waking up to understanding the reason why they met said individual in the calm and the steel they're coming into understanding this could be you this could be another person it's just like somebody is now they're no, no longer in the fog of they're no longer letting you know their emotions master them the trickery here somebody's coming out of this Maybe you were in it or somebody you knew was in it. They were in this uh, negative vibration, lower vibration, toxicity, drama, just um, shackled, chained. Somebody could have been on bed rest or had to be still and now they can kind of let loose. They can let go of control. There's somebody here who was keeping everything to themselves, being very private and secretive. And now they're letting go. They're releasing their emotions. They're saying what they need to say. They're expressing themselves. Somebody was tough, stubborn, unmovable, unwilling to express with the Knight of Pentacles here. But now somebody here is opening up for whatever reason. 
let's see what the advice is for you in regards to this relationship. Some of you are just not being chained anymore. You're deciding to let go of this. You're just deciding that some relationship is just too chaotic for you, too drama filled. Um, you're deciding that you've been giving enough or you've been giving too much. It was too much wishful thinking, not enough action being taken. Somebody was selling you a dream or promises or this is what you were doing. Um, somebody was, you was telling somebody your secrets and they were going and, and spreading them or, or yeah. Okay. So the Knight of cups here, um, as the advice. So you need to maybe pour more love into yourself, be romantic or romanticize yourself. But some of you were romanticizing a relationship and you were only looking at the good things and the, uh, the, the caliber the good caliber of, I don't know. Some of you are just coming into truth and you're just not going to allow yourself to just be deceived anymore. Lied to, tricked, manipulated. You're waking up to, you're understanding why, what for, why come, you know? Uh, what's the uh, outcome here for Capricorn? The eight of pentacles. So some of you are just going to start to, um, work to be in a better place be prudent with your money your time this could have been a oh an extravagant purchase here the extravagance of life materialism wanting all of these things and now you're kind of underwater or you're drowning now some of you want to get back to simpler times or you're going to be okay with meager uh means here you know that you don't have to be extravagant in your choices you're going to be come out of having unrealistic expectations that's the advice here maybe in love or in just in life in general, the eight of pentacles and the outcome prudence, um, being aware where you put your money, your time, your energy, your effort, doing something over and over again. Maybe you got to go back and be the wheel here. So that means that you got to go back and create abundance or more than enough here with the eight of pentacles. So you're going to have to go backwards, right? And, um, work. This is wash, rinse, repeat over, over, over again till you get to a place of abundance, nine of pentacles, right? This is also um, giving somebody a chance over and over, um, realizing that maybe this is not going to change. This is some cycle. This is the relationship that cycles in, cycles out. When you expand or you, you spend your time with this person or these people, um, you, you overspend, you overindulge, you overdo it, you do drugs, you do, I don't know, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Yeah, you're coming to a place of understanding, using all the tools that you have in regards to making something real, um, playing your cards right, uh, reshaping, refocusing, rethinking, um, taking matters into your own hands, um, going to that bank and explaining that you need to um, have this loan transitioned or you need to restructure it or whatnot. This is taking matters into your own hands. Some of you just, you know, kind of took on too much. You grew too fast or you wanted too much, or there was a high level of materialism. It could have come from outside source though. Yep. It could have come from, um, somebody who is not good with money, maybe even a wife, uh, or someone who was treating like a wife or um you were pampering yep it could it could have been the husband and the wife gotten too you know frivolous maybe with um their spending here or it just grew too fast or too much and now it's about scaling backwards or scaling down and you know making healthy choices in money and uh, maybe even in love too some of you um, this could have been the third party situation. You let somebody or something come in between the connection here. Um, now it's about getting back, you know, getting back to a simpler time. The man or a masculine energy is going to have to take matters into his own hands. Um, you know, maybe cut somebody off or put, put time, put distance between maybe um, a third party situation. Let it go. All right. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Can't make it up. Ace of Swords at the bottom of that. Cut it off. Get to the truth of the matter. Um, let me know how it resonates for you. What is going on? You know, who is this? Is this you? Is this someone else? Uh, let me know how it resonates for you. Um, go over to the website. Book your own personal reading, just like this one. Readings are 40% off. So use code 40OFF, 40OFF at check out
Um, you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're a business-minded individual, you have your own business, and you're trying to get it to a place of you know, stability, come out of uh, maybe stagnancy, you know, join the KTMG monthly call. Keep the momentum going. Call uh, when you're around business-minded individuals. You can kind of um, network, piggyback, get good advice, um, methods to use in your business. Or if you want to start your own business, go ahead and make the investment in yourself. 20 bucks into yourself. You know, you spent much more on self doing things that didn't add value, that didn't have a return. So take advantage if you're feeling moved to do so. All links are below. Book your discovery call. If you want to get a call with me and talk about where you need to be, where you are, so you can move forward in your journey, then let's do it. And I want to shout out to New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Houston, Philadelphia, uh, Florida, and Atlanta. I have high viewership there. So thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Let me know where you are viewing from. Take care. I will talk with you later.